Hey there, Scipio here, and I just wanted to give a quick update on the Tricopter build. Since this morning, I added finally my FPV gear. I've been kind of going in stages. First get the thing in the air, then get a camera mounted. Now that the camera's mounted, uh, go ahead and add FPV capability. So I'm using the GoPro for recording uh, FPV footage, uh, but I'm actually using an 808 cam, uh, number 16, with the, uh, the D lens as my FPV camera and uh, I've got a Boscom uh, video transmitter that I have on there. Um, so uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. So here it is. Uh, basically the 808 camera is Velcroed to the top of my receiver and it's peeking through my two antennas that I have there. It looks like, uh, looks like a bug in, uh, antennas, but uh, those are my receiver antennas. Um, and then of course a rubber band to hold it uh, snug. And then I figured uh, I'd wire up a, uh, a balance plug adapter on the tail boom. I used hot glue to hold that little adapter in, and that powers my uh, FPV camera and my uh, FPV transmitter. And then, of course, I have that separate from the battery power that powers the rest of the, uh, the unit, the KK board, and, and all of that. Um, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the video my ghetto uh, FPV monitor. Uh, I don't have goggles yet, so I rigged this up with a little Philips DVD player one time. Uh, I've got videos on that uh, back uh, back in the past, so you can look at that if you want, but uh, that's basically it. So now I am uh, got video. I can fly by, fly by video. All right, so the last thing I did was add telemetry capability, and uh, basically what I did is using that same balance port uh, on the tail boom, uh, it's taking the battery voltage for me and uh, keeping track of that. So what you see here on my telemetry screen is uh, top left is my battery for my transmitter. That's for the Tyrannus itself, 8.4 volts. A2 is my overall pack voltage, so 12.4. It's a fully charged uh, 3S LiPo. A1 is my receiver voltage, so that's the voltage that I'm getting from the KK board, 4.96 or 5 volts. Uh, so I can basically tell with those two different values the status of my KK board uh, itself and it's getting power uh, which would be through motor one uh, BEC um, and I can also tell my overall pack voltage uh, so I've got two different data points there for voltage so essentially if I have a failure in flight I can uh, determine based on pack voltage or KK voltage where I might want to focus my troubleshooting the other thing you see there on the lower left is my RSSI, which is my relative signal strength. Uh, basically tells me how good my signal is with my receiver. And then the last two values there are just timer values. Uh, timer 1 starts whenever I uh, give it throttle and uh, will continue to run as long as the throttle is in a positive position. Timer 2 I don't even have set up yet, but I'll use it for something. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Just wanted to uh, give you the latest. Uh, it's miserable outside, and so I'm not able to fly. But uh, as soon as it clears up, I'm going to go get some video. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.